Hello everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I've got my soup pot out today because I'm going to take an old recipe of mine, Italian wedding soup, and I'm going to make this skinny. I have a segment out there called Making Dishes Skinny and this is going to be a part of it. Y'all ready? It's all going to happen in one large soup pot or your Dutch oven. So let's go ahead and get started. In a medium bowl, we're going to add one pound of ground chicken. And then we're going to add a lot of deliciousness. We're going to add one egg. A quarter cup of panko crumbs. Quarter cup of Parmesan cheese shredded. Two tablespoons of parsley. This is just dried. Half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, we're going to mix it all together. Now what makes this a skinny dish is the fact that when I used to make Italian wedding soup, I would use ground beef, ground pork, sausage to make the meatballs with. So right now, we're kind of skinning it up by using ground chicken. So what I'm gonna do is, after I mix this all together, is I'm gonna form tiny meatballs. You wanna get about two or three meatballs on a spoon. So that'll kind of tell you the size of your meatballs. Okay, I'm gonna be using just a tablespoon to kind of measure out. And if it fits in there, that's the size we want. And then just roll it as tightly as you can get the meatball. That way it holds its shape while you cook them. And that's what we're looking for right there. So we're not going to use a cookie scoop that's going to be too big. Just a tablespoon. And then roll them good. a large Dutch oven or a large soup pot over medium-high heat and I'm going to place one tablespoon of cooking oil. So I'm using avocado oil because it is a very heart healthy oil and it's a very light oil so it'll be really tasty. What we're going to do is wait for the oil to be nice and hot and then we're going to add our meatballs. We're going to do the meatballs in two stages brown them up on all sides, pull them out, and we're going to place them on a plate and just set them aside and start working on the rest of the soup. I like that sound. Now once you're putting these into your soup pot, don't move them until they get a little brown on the bottom. They may stick and you don't want that to happen. So once they get really nice and browned on the bottom, you'll be able to move them around. Now we're just looking to brown these on all sides. We're not looking to cook them through yet. They will finish cooking in the soup process later. Now you'll know when these are ready to turn because they'll be loose and you can flip them over. If they're stuck, leave them there. Now you see the brownness they're getting? That's what you're looking for. It's a nice color. I'm gonna start turning these over. They smell good. Season them well. Flavors your soup too. Once they're browned on the other side, just start moving around just for an extra minute to get the sides. Okay, so I'm taking out the first batch. Then I'm gonna do the second batch. And then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Okay, we're going to add another tablespoon of cooking oil, about one and a half. Okay, I've got 
three ribs of celery that I chopped up into tiny pieces. I've got half of a yellow onion that I'm going to add. And I've got some carrots that we peeled. I'm just going to chop these up. They're baby carrots. Very, very baby. <laughs> very tiny. Alright, hand this off to Thomas. He'll get rid of those for us. I'm going to go ahead now and add these into the celery and the onions. Just cutting some of the big pieces there. We want it all to cook at the same time. We're going to season with just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We're going to sweat these down for about four to five minutes until they're nice and soft. All right, we're ready to add one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic. A little bit more. There we go. I'm going to stir this for one minute. It smells good in there. We're going to add in our chicken broth. Go ahead and raise your heat to a high level. That way we can bring this to a boil. All right, I gave it a taste. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. About a quarter of a teaspoon. And the same amount with the black pepper. I always like to season the broth. All right, we're going to bring this to a boil. Okay, we have a boil going on here. Can y'all see me? <laughs> okay, we're going to finish this off. I have some orzo pasta. This is a rice-shaped pasta. So we're going to add one cup to our boiling soup. For a little extra. And then once we get that in there, we're going to add back in our browned up meatballs. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside the package, like rice shaped pasta. Now, the chicken meatballs are gonna finish cooking in the broth while the pasta is cooking, and it's all gonna take 10 minutes. And then we're gonna finish it off. Just be careful when you're plopping those meatballs in there so you don't get your camera person for yourself. Yes, for yourself. <laughs> no splatter. Let's stir this up. We're going to reduce the heat to a medium, medium low and just let this simmer for the 10 minutes. And that's pretty much how long the pasta is going to cook per the instructions on the back of the package. Okay, the soup is done. The pasta is cooked through. There it is right there. The meatballs are cooked through. We gave them a test. They're very delicious. We're going to turn off the heat. And then what we're going to do is add six ounces of baby spinach. Now this is fresh spinach. Now if I was doing my regular recipe, I'd be adding in some Parmesan cheese. A whole bunch of it. But we're keeping this skinny today, and if anybody wants some in their soup, they can just sprinkle some on top when they bowl it up. All right, the residual heat from the soup and the pot will help soften down that spinach, and wilt it down. We're gonna bowl this up and give it a try. Right there. Mm. 
it's perfect for these cold winter days. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you think of my skinnier version of Italian wedding soup. Give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I've got some other options right here for you, including a playlist of soups and one of our other favorites from our skinny meals. Okay, guys, I will see you on the next episode.